Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am going to discuss one interesting requirement which you might encounter while working with Kafka. Okay. So let's just recall a general architecture or data flow while working with Kafka, right? So here suppose we are having our real time source system. From there, using producer, we are publishing the data in a Kafka topic, right? And from that Kafka topic, maybe we are doing some stream processing using Spark Streaming or Flume or Fast application, etc. And that process data we are loading in a new Kafka topic in consumer side. And from that new Kafka topic, using consumer or sync connector, we are dumping the data in an external system. Right? So this is the general flow. Now sometime we might face this kind of situation that after dumping the data in an external system from our Kafka cluster, we might need to send the data from external system to Kafka again. Okay. Maybe I can put one arrow from external system to a Kafka topic. Sometime we might face this kind of requirement, this particular place. Okay. So on that, let us try to discuss some points today in this video. That is bringing the data back into Kafka or just now we sent from Kafka to that external system. Okay. When we might face this kind of situation and if we face how we can do it. Right. So that's what I have written here that one of the most important things to note is that just because our data has left Kafka, it does not mean that it cannot be put back again. Okay, there are certain situations or business requirement we might encounter where we might need to bring back the data from external system to Kafka, where the data in external system just went from Kafka only, right? That is bringing back the data. So what is the situation we might face and what we can do? On that, let me discuss two different use cases. So let's consider use case one. So suppose here we are having our Kafka topic. Okay. In that Kafka topic, our producer is publishing data in real time. And then here we are having our application logic. Right. Which is consuming the data in real time and serving the business needs. Now for long term storage and analytics purpose, what we are doing, we are writing that data using Kafka sync connector to one S3 bucket. Right. Now, suppose this particular system is running perfectly fine in production system for a long time. And after one year, a new requirement came where you need to process the complete data for past one year and then apply a new business logic. Okay. So here I can write new application logic. Now, this new application logic, maybe you have written in Python or Java, whatever programming language. This need to process the past one year data. So from where this particular new application logic will get the data? See, if you consider this left hand side using Kafka sync connector, we have taken the backup of the data in S3 or we have archived the data in S3, right? So obviously you can think the simple way to go is the new application logic can consume the data from S3, which looks fine with respect to this use case. But the problem in this particular approach is S3 and application logic connection that is a new code that we have to develop newly might be right. But if you observe this particular place here, we already have the code base which is consuming the data from Kafka right. To consume the data from Kafka, we no need to write a new code. So if we are having less time, what we can follow that if somehow this particular S3 data we can bring back in Kafka in a new topic and from that new topic that one year data if the new application logic can consume that will be an easier approach because we no need to write a new code which will connect with S3 and consume the data right. So what in this approach we can do that here we are having a new Kafka topic right and from S3 using source connector why this is source connector because it is writing the data in a Kafka topic from external source. Here external source is S3, right? From S3 using source connector, we can load past one year data to our Kafka topic, which we newly created. And from there, using this same logic, what we have implemented here, right? 
that is application logic is reading the data from kafka topic that same concept we can implement or the same connection code we can implement here and then process the past one year data with new application logic so i hope you got it that in this particular case we need to bring the data back in our kafka what earlier we sent from kafka to the external system right that is one interesting use case the second use case let's discuss so when we work with real time projects then in different companies we have different different environments like first we are having dev where we do development then we are having qa environment where we do all kind of testing then here we are having pre prod and then here we are having our production environment the pre prod environment is just replica of production environment before moving the code to our production we do a final round of testing in pre prod environment with our production data to check the pipeline is not failing or the new code base is not generating a new path right now while working with this kind of multiple environments we might encounter certain situation where we need to send the messages from kafka to external system and then from external system to kafka again so what is that use case let us try to understand so let's consider in our production environment we are having a msk cluster okay and our responsibility is to have archival pipeline or we have to take backup of all the messages whatever coming in our msk topic right so here for archival purpose what pipeline we have implemented that whenever messages will be published in our msk topic we will be triggering a lambda okay aws lambda function that lambda function will write that message in kinesis firehose from firehose the data will be grouped and that grouped data or accumulated data we will write in s3 okay even the lambda can directly write the data in s3 but for individual message when lambda will be triggered and it will be writing one single single message in s3 in different different files then we might encounter small file issue so to avoid that we are grouping certain set of messages for certain time using kinesis firehose buffer and then we are writing that particular grouped data in s3 right so this is a perfectly fine architecture even we discussed this particular architecture in our previous video you can check the description link for details okay now this is in our production system now as i already told you that pre prod is basically kind of replica of our production system so here we are having our pre prod environment okay and here also we are having our msk cluster within that we are having an msk topic okay now our responsibility is whatever messages are getting published in this particular msk topic in production system the same messages should be coming in the pre prod msk cluster also in a particular topic so that the pre prod environment will be same like our prod environment and we can test in pre prod only whatever code we have modified so that in production system we will not encounter a new issue right now how to move the messages whatever are getting published in our production cluster to pre prod cluster that is the question and in that case also we can follow the pattern that bringing back the data in our kafka cluster okay so here if you see in production system from msk or from our kafka cluster we move the data outside that is basically archival we are archiving the data to our s3 now to replay the events in our pre prod environment or to copy those all messages in pre prod environment in a particular topic what we can do from this particular prod s3 bucket where the kinesis firehose is dumping the data we can trigger one aws lambda and that aws lambda can publish the messages in a particular kafka topic in our pre prod environment so this way whatever messages will be published in our production msk topic the same messages will be available eventually in our pre prod msk topic also so this is called archival and replay pipeline from msk we are archiving the data in s3 for long term storage and analytics purpose and if in some other msk cluster we might need that same data for testing purpose like regression testing unit testing etc then in that case from that s3 where it is dumping the data we can trigger one aws lambda in real time and that lambda can write the data in msk topic okay both pipeline archival and replay i have discussed in my previous video i'll be providing the link of those in the description box you can check there so in this case also if you see that we are bringing back the data in our msk only in this case the difference is here the cluster itself are different right 
But anyway, I hope you got the overall essence that it is not like always we need to move the data from Kafka to outside world. Sometimes same data what we just now sent to outside world, that same data we might need to bring back in our Kafka cluster. That can be same Kafka cluster or that can be different Kafka cluster. That depends on use case. But this is one of the interesting use cases which you might encounter in your real life project. So just thought to cover this one. If you find this video helpful, then please like, share and comment. Subscribe our channel if you haven't subscribed till now. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos. Thank you for watching.